country music. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you. What a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerk wad. This, this isn't right. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Whatever. You're welcome. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's... Totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Meh. Well, at least not for now.
The future needs excellence. The future is an asshole. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just haven't been in the doing stuff mood lately. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, oh, no shit. I thought that place was like, Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Ah, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is- Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. No. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Happy to support such an important cause. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Thanks so much for signing my petition. Evan is an ass clown. Aw, don't be so hard on yourself. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. 
Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing, we murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. Samantha Myers, School Wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? 
the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. If I'm late to class, I would sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell himself if it meant I'd be leaving here in a month. Heaven's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah, fuck that. Something's definitely missing from that totally blank wall. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. I wonder if Wells is going to appreciate my art. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <gasps> but fire's so pretty. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care.
Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana-flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm... Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero-tolerance policy. And yet if my olfactory sense does not fail me, I'd say you've recently been exposed to marijuana smoke. Shit. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? All right, sir. I'll see you after school. I'll count the minutes. That guy's a tool. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a... Mom. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Bad ass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no, but if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. Speaking of doing people favors... Ugh, yeah.
Guess I've been hanging around Justin this morning. His odor must have latched onto me. Uh-huh. Glad to see all you high risks sticking together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. Yeah, I can see that. Wait. You went to the mill last night? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. You can't judge a girl by the elitist, fascist school her mother makes her go to, you know? <laughs> I get that. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything, I mean... I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but... It's hard. Pisshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great! What did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. here twitch don't call me that true north a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad guess nathan prescott made the shit list oh wow this is some really weird crap prescott it's not yours give it back i hate that you're on the team now you're such a loser guys no need to fight you can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell.
You should be ashamed. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Oh, good. You're here. 